Hello everyone. So today here on Review With You, we're going to be talking about a unique character that is pretty much a Cyclops clone, except for all his powers in his mouth. We're of course talking about Matter Eater Lad. Now Matter Eater Lad is the 15th member that is inducted into the Legion of Superheroes. He joins relatively soon after Bouncing Boy. Now in his first appearance, Matter Eater Lad explains his origins, saying that the natives of Bismol, and we find that funny because Pepto, found that microbes had made their food inedible, and that the populace evolved their ability to eat all matter as a survival mechanism. This gives his teeth and jaws apparently the strength and durability to bite and chew through stone, metal, and any other hard substance. He normally appears in Legion stories as writers basically have struggled with the problem of how to make his power useful in an actual fight. As you can imagine, it's probably tough to go up to somebody that's shooting rays of lightning or have eye beams like Superman. He can't just walk right up there and take a bite out of him without getting totally annihilated first. Tenzel Kim, his alter ego, is from a species called the Bismolians. He is able to bite through and consume all forms of matter, all of them, including that which is supposedly indestructible, like Amazonium, or even, say, something like Superman himself. And there's a theory going around that Matter Eater Lad could potentially beat Superman if he were able to bite into him. Now, plus and minus most of this character's history, he is just an abstract character in the background that somewhat provides comic relief at times. But Matter Eater Lad does have one major heroic moment where he saves the universe by eating the previously thought to be indestructible miracle machine. Now this is a device that's created by the Guardians that can literally take thought and turn it into reality. This machine is fairly dangerous because everything you can undo with simply another thought. However, if the welder of this machine were to think of something that they want to die, they're just tired of seeing all of everything and they just want to die, they would zap themselves out of existence, even if they thought it for only a split second. And this Bismolian was able to eat this device and save everyone. Now, after the events of the Zero Hour miniseries, Legion continuity was completely rebooted altogether. Tinzel Kim, along with Bouncing Boy, are now recast as part of the Legion's civilian support staff. Tinzel also serves as the team's personal chef, which seems like a unique fit. However, in this miniseries, Tinzel never joins the team, though he does help the team out during several battles. Unlike his pre-Zero Hour counterpart, Tenzel's spit is similar to that of Acid. Now, in a Peacemaker episode, I believe episode 4, the Chode Less Traveled includes a direct reference to the classic Legion of Superheroes member, Matter Eater Lad. When discussing some of the Stranger missions, Peacekeeper mentions that he worked with Matter Eater Lad before, acknowledging that the hero could eat anything, making Smith redefine what he saw as normal. According to Smith, Matter Eater Lad ate the entire restaurant when he ran out of patience waiting for his food. And while we might all find this really silly and funny, his superhuman ability to eat and digest anything is amazing because anything can be destroyed. What gives Matter Eater Lad his unique abilities and an ability that can destroy almost any character in DC Comics is that the Bismolians as a race have evolved their bodies to be capable of consuming and digesting anything. Matter Eater Lad's body produces enzymes that could almost instantly break down any substance and his metabolism is comparable to that of a flash type speedster. This is where most fans are getting the idea that Kim can actually destroy Superman just simply by eating him. And as far as powers and abilities go, We've discussed that this is a Bismolian and that he is capable of biting through anything and consumes all forms of matter. But he does in some instances have the ability to produce spit that turns out to be acid. He's also capable of hand-to-hand -hand combat. 
Now while he's incapable of flight, he does himself have equipment to help him out, such as the Legion flight ring. In a more recent era of his history, Tyndale was introduced to the current run of the Legion as a government agent and he was basically investigating Cosmic Boy's disappearance and the legality of his final act as Legion leader. Anyway, this is what we know of Denzel Kim, aka Matter Eater Lad. This character is a wonderful character. We think more characters should have unique and oddball powers that we can all just sit back and either laugh or enjoy with. You guys have a wonderful day, a wonderful evening, a wonderful night, whichever. Please like, share, and subscribe. We really do appreciate that around here. Also, do us a favor. Go down to the comment section down below. Write us a little bit about what we can do better, what we're doing right, or what you just simply like about the video. As always, Excelsior.